drift team low power update video on my car got this guy washing that car because he's gonna try to sell it but uh, yeah so here's the uh, s13 coupe the project that never ends and that you guys have not seen for like almost a year worth of videos because I stopped posting and yeah so anyways I think you guys saw when I swap swapped to Sylvia but I used Duraflex fenders um, I swapped to Origin because they fit a lot nicer as you can see my Duraflex hood fits like absolute garbage but once I paint it soon I'm actually pretty much ready for paint as you can see I got all my arrow on it now so this is where I'm gonna keep it and paint it. Just need a few things like a grill and I need the little vents for down there. And I'm waiting on my D-Max roof wing to come in so I can finish the back of the car. I'm gonna run it wingless, but uh, yeah. So, unless you follow me on Instagram, um, you wouldn't know that I actually rebuilt this. So between now, or from when we last posted a video, which was, shoot, last year almost. It's almost been a year since we posted a video. It was at Andy's Slay Day or Loose Socks or one of those drift events. Um, I actually pulled out the KA and did a full rebuild on it. Um, yeah, so I did a hack spray paint job on the engine bay just because I wanted it to not be crappy white and dirty anymore. But we fully rebuilt it. It's still the stock standard internals from the KA. So nothing's changed as far as bore or compression. But everything is fully redone. New rings and all that stuff. And it's pretty much a OEM rebuild. So yeah, it's pretty nice. I needed to do it because the car was having just issues and issues. And um, my head gasket was slightly blown. I'm sure you guys have seen that in a video if you've watched the channel for a long time. Coil rad. Yeah, so we did some cool, legit stuff to it. Basically trying to just make it as reliable as a KA can be for drifting. Um, and I'm going to keep it NA for now. Um, I have a 4.6 rear end laying in the garage. So going to be throwing that in soon. Yeah. So, other than that, the car is still exactly the same on the inside as it was and as it's been pretty much since I've had it for the past two years. Nardi steering wheel, garage and car floor mats, and drift button, drift car mods. <laughs> oh, yeah, here's another thing you guys already saw when I was showing the outside of the car. We ended up going with gram lights. I had, um, shoot, in the last video, I probably had either XT7s or SSR Viennas. Something. Remember. Anyways, I wanted something lighter because I had SSR Vienna three-piece wheels. They were way too heavy. I was bending tie rods every single drift event I went to just because the wheel weight. I would hit one bump in the track and tie rod was completely obliterated. So yeah, we went with gram lights, 17 by 9, 18 by 9 and a half. So... Yep, angle kit, full villain's angle kit on it now. Yeah, so that's pretty much the update video. Hello. Yeah, that's pretty much the update video. That's pretty much everything that's been done with the car. I took all the stickers off the windows. I wanted a cleaner look. So yeah, next is gonna be paint and uh, yeah, this has been a little update video of low power heroes drift team low power s13 240 sylvia replica subscribe